We begin with the public outrage and debate that has greeted the emergence of a video of a child uttering obscenities on social media. The class 7 boy from Consolata School posted the video on Instagram insulting and threatening a class 4 pupil. Raquel Muigai will be reporting on the shocking incident that has put parents on the spot. Watch. Hi guys, I'm on the roof of my penthouse and so I have tea for you. Perched on an identified rooftop and donning consolata school uniform, the boy said to be in class 7 spewed his runs using unprintable expletives against a fellow pupil, a standard 4 girl who he alleged had referred to him as being gay. She was just looking at us, they look at her badly. Social media was awash with reactions, some bashing the young boy for his foul language and threats to the girl. Within minutes, the boy had posted one more video, this one, an apology. I want to say sorry to the public for all this bad content I've done. I know I shouldn't have overreacted like that, even putting it on public like that. The girl's name was soon a trending topic on social media platforms. Reports suggested the police officers attached to the children's department visited Consolata School early morning following the boy's threats. The school declined to comment on the video or the status of the boy, but the incident has opened a window into the dark secrets of the activities of children on social media. Psychologists say the children are crying out for help. If all children were monitored, even if they are given these gadgets, and you're there with them as a reflective parent, I say. The problem is, you've allowed them and you're an absentee parent. They will discover, they will explore. Super North legislator Emilio Diambo took to social media blasting users for what she termed as cyberbullying. While asking them to refrain from sharing the young boy's video, the outspoken legislator said in part, he is still evolving. With proper guidance, he will turn out right. If you're a parent, be sensitive. While agreeing with the MP, psychologists say that this is not an isolated case and parents need to be more present in the lives of their children. If teachers notice such a child, parents notice such a child, or even the society is a child that needs serious assessment and intervention at that age. This is adolescence. It is a stage whereby most adolescents are trying to balance the way they think and the way they feel. And what he's saying is true. We only need to watch and see how he graduates to the next level. Because if relevant interventions are done now, just like for all the children who are like him, they don't graduate to young adulthood with that kind of uh, behavior. The Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kinoti, has told Citizen TV this evening that they will not be pursuing any criminal case against the boy, saying he needs more parental and school counseling.